Every boater has different charting needs depending on location or activity on the water. That's why Simrad is the most compatible with the major chart manufacturers to allow you the choice to choose a chart you need to use. So all NSS EVO 3s do come with embedded cartography. It's good for about 40 miles offshore for the continental US. But if your needs require that you need additional information uh, for your activities or for your navigable waterways, you can simply purchase a chip, put it into the micro SD card slot. And as you notice, we have two slots on this machine. So we can put in multiple manufacturers into the unit. And then you simply go into the menu down to more options go to chart source and now we can change our source to one of our purchased charts tap the screen and back out now you're using a different chart manufacturer the other nice feature is is you have the ability to go into a split screen chart on chart so now you can put two independent manufacturers side by side and find out who's got the better cartography for that region so that you now make it safe to navigate those waters. So while we're on a chart page, we're gonna drop a waypoint. A waypoint is gonna be any location that you might wanna go back to or remember at a later date. There are many ways to put waypoints onto the chart page. Uh, the easiest is if we find a location that we might want to save, we simply put our cursor out there, hit menu, new, new waypoint, the machine will automatically load the position of that cursor. Maybe we want to change the name of it. We can simply scroll back and maybe we caught some grouper today. So I'll abbreviate grouper, put it in grouper one, enter. We have the ability to go in and change our icons. We can change the color of our icons. And then we've got this nice little feature called more options. This allows us to put a little notation there. Maybe besides grouper, maybe we caught some snapper or some other fish, we can notate that. Maybe the conditions were horrible. We, uh, visibility of the water, we can notate that. Once we're done, we simply hit save, and now you can see it loads that waypoint right where we had that cursor. Another thing is, is maybe we wanna do it over the boat. Maybe we get a strike. We can do the mark with the mark button, but that's simply gonna put it on there, not gonna save it into our waypoint library. So again, we would hit menu, new waypoint. Now that position is the vessel. And again, you go through the same steps, the same options, the same icons. Again, simply hit save. And now it's hard to see, but it is dropped right beneath the vessel. So say we wanna to go to a waypoint in our waypoint library. It's very easy to access that library and find that waypoint within it. Simply hit the home button. We go to waypoints. Now we've got our list. Sometimes it's hard if you've got a lot of waypoints to scroll down through that menu and find them. So we've got a nice little find button. We hit find. Now we have the ability, if we know the entire name, we can type it in, or I'm just gonna put the first letter, and you notice everything with G shows up. So now I can simply hit that, and what do I wanna do with it? Well, do I wanna delete it? No, I wanna find it, so show me where it is. Now I can zoom in and out, see where it is in reference. The other option is, if I go back to waypoints, and back to find, to my waypoint, is I can automatically navigate right from this screen. I don't have to go to the chart and do it. I simply hit go to, it's gonna create my nav line, and now I can see from my vessel what I need to do to get to that waypoint. Today we're down here in Isla Mirada just off Cotton Key. We've got the intercoastal waterway, and we're gonna to wanna to navigate that way, and I'm gonna show you how to create a quick route. To create a quick route, we simply just move our cursor off our vessel, Hit menu, new, new route, and now it's as simple as dropping your points. So you can just place your points, your navigation route, right down the intercoastal waterway. Hit save. Now you have the ability to go in and change that name. We'll call it route one, we'll hit enter. So now we've named it route one. So now we've created the route. Sometimes we find that we have to change it. We may have put a waypoint in the wrong spot. There may be some changes in some buoys, markers. So at times you do find the event where you need to 
change what you've already laid down. So what we do is we simply just touch it so any part of that route gets highlighted, hit menu, we call up route one, and we hit edit. Now that gives us the ability to do things like rubber banding. So rubber banding is we can move that waypoint. When we've moved it to the desired spot, we simply hit finish moving. And if that's what we want to do, we hit save. Yes, we want to keep the name. Besides rubber banding a waypoint like we just showed you, other edit features are adding or removing waypoints. So we can continue on or remove a waypoint, whether it's in the middle or the last or first point in the route. Then when you're finished, simply hit save. Make sure the name's correct, enter. As you can see, the NSS EVO 3 allows you to choose the charts that you need and how easy it is to create and navigate to waypoints and routes.